That's him right there at 27. 27 Central, my location. Twenty five central man. supervisor here. No supervisor. No. Okay. So, okay, I want to primary residence of my primary dwelling, my sole domicile. It was taken from me days ago. I picked up the phone and called and filed a report for Grand Theft for South Boston Police Department, which Officer Perkins responded. He refused to provide any incident report or any investigation. my RV and a call to be removed from private property. With that being said, I'm sorry, I've, I'm a lawyer, I've been studying this whole weekend, I have notes, so if you'll just give me a moment to go through this. Um, I just delivered a certificate of service to the tow yard to put them on notice of a violation of federal crime. I'm acting as a private attorney general right now. And also following the report. I didn't get as far as requesting him to retract from the crime that he was an accessory of because he asked me to do it. So I removed myself immediately, telling him not to go anywhere because he would be under arrest. Now, because I moved my sole primary dwelling and, and residence into the county jurisdiction, this would also be a scene of a crime. This is your jurisdiction as well in regards to. I'm going to stop you right there. Yes, sir. No crime has been committed. Yes, sir, it has. And I'm going to let me finish talking first, uh, and then you can talk, all right? Yes, sir. This is Miss Prison of a felony, okay, and right look, now. Uh, you going to stop talking? Go ahead. Okay. No crime has been taken. You parked your vehicle on the lot owned by somebody else. You can't park it there. That means it's says who? Big private property, call. Can you furnish me that code? I don't have to. I'm telling you. Listen here, sir. Go ahead. With all due respect, this is why I requested a supervisor. Uh, this is Miss Prison of a felony that is being taken court in regards to the felony. And uh, you are acting as an attorney and licensed right now, which is also a crime. And uh, you are to solely take a criminal report. In regards to that, hold on one second, sir. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm trying to educate you. Now, the Supreme Court had ruled that it is your sole duty to take a criminal report in regards. And if I am falsifying any information in regards to this report, you will be liable to arrest me. Now, with the state law, federal law, considering, I'm going to educate you. Not at one point, at any point in time, was I made aware that I was trespassing. Therefore, it is a crime in regards to the removal of that vehicle from that property because nobody had made anybody aware that a crime's been committed. I'm gonna elaborate for you Did in you... a clear instance. One second, sir. No, he, he's talking, you stop talking. Okay? Stop I really talking. wanted to speak with the supervisor so I didn't well, get not... gang banged by a bunch of people. You're who not getting a supervisor. Law. Do you know the person that owned the property you parked on? Uh, it's not owned by a private individual. It's owned by a private corporation. Did that corporation give you permission to park there? This property has been generally open and accessible to the public in the neighborhood for generations. So I can testify myself to that. Was it closed there when you parked there? There are no posting signs whatsoever that would deem any portion of that property not open and accessible to the general public. One of the public buildings, private buildings. So. 
can't park there. Sir, this is misprison of a felony if you're refusing to take a report. This is why I seriously wanted a supervisor to come down here and respect my constitutional rights. What is your name, sir? Deputy Weddle. Deputy Weddle. Weddle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you spell it for sir? you? Deputy Moore. Two A's. Deputy Moore. I'm can sorry? we spell that for you? Uh, no, sir. I can I can finagle that from there. I'm sure. Uh, with that being said, violations of U.S. Code and of the Constitution are as follows. Violation of the KKK Act, which is the Three Quarters Act, the RICO Act, the Homestead Act, 18 U.S. 241 and 242, and an intent to extort me for money when I have no contract with them. No contract, no notice, no contract. Therefore, that That's is a federal violation code? of 1961. Okay, we need to call the FBI. We don't enforce federal codes. I did. I did, okay. and they refused, claiming it was civil. However, that is another instance where they are, sorry, misprison of a felony and practicing law without a license. They cannot tell me it's civil when I'm filing a criminal report with all the information in regards to such. Violation of Title 42, 1986, and also the Eighth Amendment. The grounds that I have for this criminal matter are as follows. You are not to decide that, sir. You are not the judge. You are here to take a criminal report and nothing more. No notice was provided to vacate. That was my sole home and sole dwelling and primary residence that was stolen. Along with attempted extortion, Look, listen, the Castle Doctrine in the Homestead Act gives me the express right to occupy and possess and defend this? my soul dwelling immediately. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to you. I'll be Central, we're talking to him. I'm walking over to Franklin's now. Twenty five, Central. I'm out of Franklin's. I'm to talk to Donnie. Right there. How's it going? Hey now, how you doing? Uh, we're making it. We're making it. Who owns that dirt lot he's standing in? Yeah, he, he told me about this. He told you you were under arrest. He told me I was under arrest by that law. He said, Did he put hands on you? Oh, no. He <laughs> <Nobody on that. laughs> well, I, I want to ask. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did. He told you you were under arrest. He told me I was under arrest by that law. Can I keep this? Sure. We're going to take care of this. I promise. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, well we got the back store. I, I appreciate it. We're gonna take care of it. 25-31. Catherine. Put him in handcuffs. Twenty-seven, twenty-five. You said put arrest the subject. 
Yes. You're not being detained. You're being arrested being for impersonating a law enforcement officer in the state of Virginia. I'm not impersonating a law enforcement yes, officer. Yes, sir. You're going to have that back in the car. Boy, release your phone. I'm not impersonating a law enforcement officer. You, you served that man a paper down there that you wrote and told him he was under arrest. That's impersonating a police officer. I did not tell him he was under arrest. Well, I said, stay right there. You're going to be placed under arrest. Right, he sir, said you said you know, under arrest. No, I did not tell him I was placing him sir. under arrest. I did not impersonate an officer. I did not offer any information. Sir, is that and this dog right dog? here is witness intimidation. Is that your dog? And this is suppressing my rights. Yes, this, sir, that is call my dog. Patrol. 21, sir. Get that animal control down here. Now right, you don't have that option. Sergeant 18, you six. Eighteen twenty five since I got to begin with. Tom six two two zero five eight three four. T six two two zero five eight three four. So what did he do over there? He gave him this piece of paper right here and told him he was under arrest. Sounds like a plan. We solve this problem. That's what I was trying to figure out. I wanted somebody to go here and get from Frank and see what exactly he was doing if he owned the locks on the charge for trespass. He, he him said that John Cannon owns that. Uh, who? John Cannon. Y'all looking at that bag? Here, we go check it. It's his property. We're going to have to go through it and yeah. submit it into evidence. Twenty-five since you get to come back. Michael Thomas Raposo, Fontaine Street. He's not eligible for a driver's license, and I'm also stolen. He has concealed handgun permit. <laughs> Temple. We hadn't located a weapon yet. Uh, I am going to need a criminal history. Also, who is the magistrate? Let me check who the Okay, Temple, we're going to be standing by waiting for animal control. We'll be here a few more minutes. piece of paper and said that he committed a criminal act and he was under arrest. And I was like, he told you you were under arrest. He said, yeah. I'm like, the camera's still on. I said, he said, yes. I said, we're going to take care of his line. So, we're down. Is your camera still on? Yeah. Will you keep it on on the way to the jail? Yeah. Is he riding in your car? Yeah, he's already in my car. Alright, just keep it on in case he has any other thing. Well, he's there. still talking, so yeah. Well, I'm sure, yeah. but... As long as you don't ask me any questions, he can talk all he wants to. Yeah. Oh, so that's good, man. I'll cut right. mine back on and get the tape. 